the back the backgrounds they stood out they, and they look really beautiful around lots of people So today we've learned to collaborate with like-minded people in respect of photography and sort of um, engage with each other and each other's ideas with composition, pose and using the reflectors to help us with the light. What did you learn today? Um, I learned how to give directors to my model as a photographer. I think to just kind of be able to observe the model and the surroundings and kind of incorporate what's around the person into the photo and get them to like stand or sit in different positions and move the camera to make sure the lighting and the colours all are the best they can be. Do you think it's made you a slightly better photographer from walking away? Yeah. yeah? Brilliant, okay, thank you. What did you learn? To place people in the right lighting to get like the perfect picture out of someone and to be up close when taking pictures. Anything else? Oh, and to like make sure there's not too much in the back so it doesn't like distract the photo and the main image. Yeah, and how did you find using the reflectors? Oh, it helped out to block out lighting, unwanted lighting and then yeah. to bring out more lighting. Brilliant. To just make the main image stand out. Excellent. What did you take from today? Um, I learned about how to use the reflectors to block light and what the different reflectors did. And did you try it out? What, what was it like trying it out? It was hard at first, but then I got the angles right, so it was easy to bounce light off and get the right angles for people's faces. And had you ever used one before? Mm, yes, but not properly. So you, you learned how to use a reflector yeah. properly then, that's great. And what else? Did you did you find the posing part easy? Or? Um, it was kind of... Um, it was easy-ish, but it was good to learn how to do different like ups and downs to make it look different and the focus as well. It's very important. Brilliant, thank you. I think it was useful in understanding like composition and how to really take a good picture of your subject um, up close and like really like get into their space and get an understanding of like really working with the person that you're taking a photo of. I'm definitely not going to shy away from you know really getting in there really getting like looking at my scenery taking advantage of like my subject and you know just really trying to make that photograph as best as it can be brilliant do you feel that you will be a better photographer from doing something like this hopefully yeah i think I'll, it, my photos will have a more unique dynamic to them brilliant that's so lovely thank you very much for your feedback Go. Okay. I really like this course, um, I feel like it was really good like learning off other people and seeing from other people's points of views on the same location and I quite liked how you got one on one help with um, a tutor kind of and it was just very, once everyone was very comfortable then it was, everyone was a bit more flexible and happy to like help in any sort of way I think it was I'd, I'd do a course like this again so yeah, yeah. brilliant and then what will you walk away um, and apply to your photographs going forward what what one thing if anything will you walk away with um, I learned a lot more about my camera and just lighting and composition um, and how I shouldn't be afraid of being so close up to someone or where to stand as a photographer rather than making the subject move instead of, instead I should go move to them. And, Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Thank you so much for joining us and it was a pleasure having you. Thank Bye. you.